Welcome back, guys. Today I was going to share a different thought, but at church, someone brought this out, and it has transformed the way I look at things. I've used it already twice at work when dealing with frustrations, dealing with pressures and struggles, and I just had to share it with you. In Galatians 5 and 24, it says, And they that are Christ's, have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. Now, as he had mentioned Sunday, he had thought that the affections and lust were basically talking about the same thing. But when he had looked up the word affections, and I looked it up as well, in the Greek, the word there is not translated as affections, but only that one time. Pretty much almost all the other times it's translated as struggles or afflictions. And it actually means your afflictions and your struggles and the things that are, that are happening to you. So the way he put it was the two things that we are to crucify are the lust or the things that we feel toward other things uh, that are not godly, that are not within his uh, will and were to crucify the affections or the struggles and afflictions, how other things make us feel. So I'm at work and I'm going through all of these, this pressure and stress and I'm like being overwhelmed by it. And all of a sudden this scripture pops back into my mind and I go, Lord, I, I remember this affection. It's talking about struggles. It's talking about afflictions. And I'm to crucify that. The things that are making me feel pressured, I'm not supposed to feel this way. Yes, it's a struggle. Yes, it's it's strong. But Peter and all the apostles, what did they do? They said they gloried in those afflictions and persecutions. They counted it joy. So how am I going to do that unless I crucify the feelings that I'm having about it that are negative, that are causing me pain? So I stopped and I said, okay, God, I crucify this right now. I cause it to not exist in my mind and my heart and all these feelings that are overwhelming. It's not going to overwhelm me anymore. It is your issue. It's the problem that has been cast upon me. And now, God, I give it to you and you take care of it. Within like 30 seconds, definitely within like a minute, minute and a half, literally it was resolved. Like within 30 seconds, someone was walking up the path who had the ability to take care of my issue and fix it and beyond what I was able and capable of doing. And yet again, a couple of days later, I'm at work and I'm feeling overwhelmed. And I remember this scripture that I'm to crucify the flesh with the affections and lust. That's with the afflictions and with the, the passionate desires that are not godly toward anything. It's not even just toward opposite sex. It's toward anything. It's if it's lust toward uh, power, if it's whatever. So I'm going, okay, right now I'm battling with this affliction, with this struggle, with these situations, and I give it to you, God. I crucify my feelings toward it immediately. It's like light as a feather. And after that happened, and I gave it to God, immediately it was like God put in motion the answer. So I'm telling you guys, don't be worrying, don't be struggling. When those things come upon you, immediately remember to crucify and give it to God. Put it in His hands and watch what He does. He will transform your day and He will make it lighter and make it greater. He said His yoke is easy and His burden is light. He doesn't want us to go through life literally uh, having to beat the ground just to get somewhere. He wants us to move forward at ease, but we have to let Him like lead the way. Anyway, guys, hope that helps. God bless.